TNTM The Show presents... August Talking Nerdy. With your host, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. I'm Marvin Goof, baby. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about all the nerdy stuff, or as much of the nerdy stuff that we could cover as possible for the month of August. So we're going to be covering Only Murders in the Building. Episode 1. Uh, for what season? Season 4. Okay. And so that'll be The Ambassador. And then we're going to do some shout outs, talk about the merch, and uh, talk about what our charity of the month is going to be for September. On to Only Murders in the Building. Season 4, Episode 1. Okay. Uh, this, this one, this episode was really funny. Uh, it was the opener. It was done at the last of the month, so... It pretty much leaves off where uh, the first one ended, and uh, the cliffhanger, it gets even more interesting, because when you're first watching, you're like, why aren't they noticing this? You know, you really shouldn't lie on that bedspread. I saw this report on TV about how filthy hotel rooms are. In a moment, we will use the special lights to see just how filthy this seemingly clean hotel room really is. <laughs> Towards the end, they actually explain why they never noticed something was off. Hmm. You kind of feel for Steve Martin's character in this one. Because he's looking for a friend and trying to figure out what happened to where she is. Because uh, he has a stunt devil, double. Hmm. And uh, she's been throughout like the whole series and... He can't find her, and she, before the last time he spoke to her, she said she had something very important to tell him that needed to be hush hush. Hmm. And then she disappeared, and so it's them trying to figure out what happened to her. And then while they're going through navigating through all this, they find out that Hollywood wants to make a movie about their podcast. <laughs> 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 they got all these actors to play them. But then it's funny, they even make fun of their own premise. So it's looking at Gomez's character is like a middle-aged woman instead of her age. Oh, and they're wow. like, why? Well, we thought the dynamic of having you that young was just a little bit too weird for audiences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> so they, they have, they have, I, I'm glad they're able to make fun of themselves. That is a pretty cool hallmark of it. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah. Yeah, and you got their characters being their characters, and uh, it's great because uh, the head. What's cool is you have the head writer, who knows how to write most of them well. The only one that I feel like they were weaker on was Selena Gomez's character, but that's because, well, Steve Martin doesn't know Selena Gomez as well as uh, Martin Short and himself, mm. because Martin Short's like his best friend, mm. and so. Uh, but he's like the main writer behind the series too. He mm -hmm. doesn't just like star in it. So if you like the series, I I'd say it's a must see. Okay, nice. cool. Yeah, I love the first season. So first season I, was brilliant. I need to check out more. I need to watch more. Get caught up and and watch the new stuff. Indeed. Here, talking to me, our grade scale is must see, must stream, unless it's something that you can buy, of course, <laughs> and then uh, check it out or worth checking out, and then pass. So for shoutouts, we have uh, MK Wizard. She is now at the top of that list every time because she's phenomenal. You've seen some of the videos. You may or may not have seen some of the videos I've done with her, and they're great. We have this great conversation back and forth. So definitely check out all of her stuff because it's great. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover movies. So if you like, if you're a hardcore movie person, definitely listen to them because they cover stuff ASAP, and they'll keep you on on the know. And then they're hilarious. Uh, Pesky Gremlins, they they do web comics like MK Wizard, so that, check that out. Uh, watch it if you can. Podcasts, they're awesome. Amerame Media, they're really cool as well. Um, and then uh, for merch. But Yogurt, what is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. Merchandising? What's that? Merchandising. Come, I'll show you. Open up this door. <laughs> <laughs> Come, walk this way, take a look. We put the picture's name on everything. 
for the new month for September. It's going to be Lord of the Rings. It's mainly going to be focused because everybody loves the books and the movies. So it's mainly going to be focused on that. But we are going to have some Rings of Power merch as well. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be coming out. And we're going to be uh, leaving our Batman stuff. Maybe come up with some more. I don't know. And, um, mm -hmm. of course, we're sporting our merch now. Here it is right there. <laughs> we have... This, uh, this hat as well. Is a little oh, yeah, the Pokemon hat. Pretty much the Ash Ketchum Talk Nerdy to Me hat. And uh, mm, our magic, right? Lovely Magic the Gathering shirt. This one's my favorite, actually. MTG. <laughs> the good MTG. The good MTG. Yeah. <laughs> so, an ambassador. Got my Ninja Turtles Talk Nerdy to Me shirt. Yes. And, uh, and I got one too. Mine's blue tank top right here. And I got the shorts to go with it. Uh, I want the headband and the socks. And so if you buy any merch from us, uh, it helps us greatly. I mean, we really don't make a lot of money off the merch. But 5% of any profit that we go to, we have a different charity for the month. And so for the new month, it's going to be AFSP, which is American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as it is, as it is Suicide Prevention Month. Uh, there's also Hispanic Heritage Month uh, is halfway through the month. That's why I'm not going to do the whole month, but we're going to roll out some merch for that as we have some Azul Beetle and probably some Miles Morales. We'll probably roll that out too, yeah. you know, and then any other characters that we can think of that we, that we love, we're, we're inspired by and everything like that. That's it, unless you guys have anything else. Look out for a review of the new 5th edition Player's Handbook. Awesome. That's coming out in a few weeks. I'll hopefully turn that out here in a bit. Cool. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, Flat Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all.